Welcome back world. Welcome to Friday 11th September. And 12 degrees C. So significantly cooler today. So back on with the jeans and the fleas today. Few on the other side now. Come on. Up you go. I don't mind rolling from, well we're not cold, but cool, straight away from here because we're going downhill, so great uncle gravity is pushing us as much as anything else. Oh, I haven't struck them down, because we're literally doing about 100 metres on the road, so as long as I'm careful and gentle with it, nothing should fall off. At least up here, I've got a bit more chance of seeing anything coming towards me. And they got more chance of seeing me too. Well, they're all still there so far. one load off uh, looking at that battery is already 75% gone on the GoPro so I'm pretty sure the media mod sucks up some battery even if I'm using um, the external mics because these these guys you are on aren't you yeah you are on these guys have their own power but I'm assuming going through the media mod something has to be powered and the camera definitely runs out of battery faster so 
I'll see if I can get a bit of footage of loading up. You've seen me unload, we'll do a bit of loading up. That's probably gonna be it for today up here, because I run out of battery, and I'm too tight to buy a spare one. So, uh, yeah, I know. Um, I'll charge the camera back up, and hopefully this afternoon you can watch big blue tractors towing, I don't know what color his baler is actually. Baler. Probably actually, because I think it uses less battery, I might actually do this bit on time lapse as well. And I'll aim the camera, I'll put the camera on the back of the tractor, but I'll aim the tractor in such a way that I'll pick up as much as I can. It's a really efficient, inefficient way of doing this because it means I've got to travel much further, but you guys just get to see a, a bit more. So, so I'm going to park right down here, which means I've got to go right up there with the skid steer. Joy. Triangle him just a little bit like that. Sorted. Uh, you can stay in here. I'm only going to get the skid steer. You can have a rest in here. Is that right? Yeah, great. Yeah.
Well, that's 14. Um, could I get more on there? Yeah, definitely. I could probably get um, 20 on there. Um, but there's no point. I'm only going across the road. Uh, so 14. I might carry one over as well. I mean, it's going to be a small load, the last one. But um, yeah, right. Back over the farm. Do you ever have one of those days when you think, oh, I shouldn't have stopped. I shouldn't have stopped for my lunch and sat down for 10 minutes. I shouldn't have done it because now, now I need a stinging nettle up the trousers to get me going again. We've had a hectic couple of weeks sorting out. Um, work for the tree team that um, call out, trying to organize work that is not organized so when you have a lot of emergency stuff coming in trying to trying to piece jobs together so they fit in and fill the day as, as best you can and uh, keep the guys keep them going it's actually really really tiring so um, we have pretty much finished all our emergency stuff that we're up now which I'm really pleased about and please God no more wind for a, a while just let us catch up anyway I'm off over to to the farm now via the bank so I've got a pay in check uh, which in itself is a pain but I've got to go to the bank and do that uh, then we're going to go over and see how those guys are getting on with the bailing and wrapping over at Itchington uh, we are going to have a surplus, no doubt about that. So anybody local needs some silage, um, I'm, I'm probably going to have some of it. Well, we've made it to, to the farm and it looks like it looks like I'm going to have bales coming out of my ears. So, uh, we, uh, we ain't going to be short this year. Nowhere near. Right, it's a bit windy, but I'll, uh, I'll put the drone up and you're not going to have a big blue tractor today, you're going to have another red one. So, and red baler, just to be different. You won't mind, will you?
So, right. well, we are not going to be short of grub. That's for sure. Um, so, and the only downside for that it means I've got no excuse not to buy any sheep, apart from the fact that they're too blimmin' expensive at the moment. Um, so, we could feed more stock. I suppose the only excuse I've got now is I haven't got enough housing for them. Yeah, I can't buy any more sheep, Abby, because I haven't had time to build another barn. Oh dear. But anyway, I'm quite pleased with that. Like that is, um, that's going to be some nice stuff actually. Well pleased with that. Is he after me? Hang on a second. Not too bad. Well, according to the young man, uh, we're going to have probably best part of a hundred bells, if not a few more over here. So, uh, yeah. Well, they were 16, 18 quid a piece, so that. All goes in the coffers, doesn't it? So, got to pay for the bailer man somehow. <laughs>